Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to showcase 10 advanced building and editing tips and tricks you definitely need to learn for chapter 2. The format will be the same as always, meaning I'll show what the trick is, why it works, and then an in-game example. Before we start though, I want to thank ProGuides for partnering up with me on this video. ProGuides is an amazing website that helps you get better at every aspect of Fortnite. They offer a ton of different courses and guides from top tier players like Mongrel, Mr. Savage, and Benji Fishy. Outside of my YouTube channel, they're the only resource I can truly recommend. So if you're interested, make sure you check them out through the link in the description below. With that being said, let's get into the tips and tricks. First is a cheeky new edit called the Kanata Classic that involves you editing every tile of your wall except for two. This creates a tiny mini wall that you can use to either right hand peek or jump up and surprise your opponent. They'll be waiting for the edit but have no idea where you're coming out of and will have no time to react if you can reset your wall fast enough. Now, as I'm Speedy Gonzalez shows here, the key is to start the edit from the top right and go all the way down and around to reach the top left. My favorite part of this trick is that your opponent cannot ramp over you to block your shot like they could if you went for a normal edit. You'll already be past where the stairs place, which will leave your opponent caught out with their pants down. Here is Kanata himself using this trick on Misfits Clicks. And you can see from Clix's angle, it's insanely hard to defend against. So as Speedy recommends, bust this out anytime your opponent drops down on a ramp to replace your wall. You can easily track where they are, and they'll have no way to protect themselves when you hit them with the Kanata Classic. Second is a box fighting trick to prevent this exact situation from happening. Instead of editing a diagonal from that angle, edit a left door and use it to protect yourself while pressuring your opponent. This allows you to easily yoink walls without worrying about taking damage. From your opponent's perspective, the door will block any damage they take, so you can use that opportunity to replace their wall and go on the offensive yourself. I'm not sure how new this is, but I saw it on Reddit from a user named Jobber. This is his gameplay of him whipping it out in an arena match, which along with scrims and tournaments is where I can see this trick really coming in handy. All in all, this tiny optimization doesn't use any extra mats, so stop making the wrong edits and start making door edits. Trick number 3 utilizes the same exact door edit except you're going to use it to phase through your enemy's builds. All you got to do is position yourself in between the wall and the open door, and then break the wall while moving forward. This will allow you to phase through their wall, regardless of what ping they have. That's not even the real trick though. What Cypher showed was that if you take one step forward while breaking the wall, you'll end up inside of it and can shoot your opponent without taking the risk of actually going into their box. The turtling opponent will see you trying to get in, but will still be caught off guard because you never actually enter their one by one. And on top of that, they won't be able to build any walls because you're already phasing through it. The last thing you should know is that if they place a trap, you can just as easily back up and out of the box to avoid it. Cypher has mastered this trick and is always using it to take turtling players by surprise. So if you're looking for the easiest and safest way to counter a turtling opponent, learn this trick as soon as possible. Next up is an insane little trick that starts with you pre-editing the front left and top right tile of your cone. So it should look like this. Then, when your opponent is pressuring your box and waiting for you to peek, make a top right edit and place the pre-edited cone piece. This will block their shot and give you time to reset the cone, which will give you a free shot of your own. From your enemy's POV, you can really get the full effect and can see why this trick is so insane. Even if you're sitting there and you expect the edit, the pre-edited cone completely outplays you and leaves you defenseless. So whether you're just box fighting against your friend or you're in an actual tournament match, this pre-edit trick will take anyone by surprise. Credit goes to Reddit user Demian N. Trick numero 5 is a really useful new feature of the fishing rod. Outside of catching floppers, the fishing rod can now be used to pick up loot. 
So if you see a gun on the ground, you can pick it up from 15 or so meters away using the fishing rod. You can also reel in materials, ammo, heels, basically anything that can go into your inventory. In this clip, we see Tifu perfectly utilize the fishing rod and reel in 500 metal during a tournament game. End games like these are where I can really see this trick being useful. There's always tons of loot in zone or on the low ground in scrims. So as long as you have one person in your squad holding a fishing rod all match, it can really pay off like it did for Tifu here. Next up is a safe way to replace your opponent's builds from the top. All you gotta do is place a build in front of you, two floors to the right, and edit the bottom left tile of the far floor. This leaves you with a pretty sweet angle to replace their floor, their roof, and wall all at once. Plus, anytime your opponent tries to take a low ground shot on you, you can just duck behind the wall and it will block all the damage. From their perspective, they'll see three of their builds being replaced and as a result, try to make an edit play. The thing is, you already have that wall placed so you can continue to pressure them and secure the kill. Moving on, the seventh trick is an oldie but goodie with the rocket launcher. You're again able to stand on your opponents one by one and RPG the far corner without taking damage. This will drop you right on top of them where you can pump them in the mouth or build a ramp over them as you fall and kill them with a trap. I think the trap play is much safer and more effective because your opponent won't be able to see you at all. The only thing they'll hear is the RPG explode, and then the next thing they know, they're dead to traps with no way to counter it. Cypher was the first person I saw this from, but he does mess it up in this clip. You can see he doesn't aim it correctly and takes damage. So just make sure you look directly at the far corner of your opponent's cone and you won't have any problems pulling this off. Eighth is a 200 IQ trick to break these barrels at Slurpy Swamp. What you can do is place a build through the Slurpy containers which will break them and give you the health or shield like they normally do. This works for all of the slurp barrels, including the big giant ones, and works with both cones and ramps. The only drawback is you have to use an extra 10 mats to break them, but considering how much time you save, I think it's definitely worth the price. Trick number 9 is a 300 IQ outplay, yes, 300 IQ, I saw from TSM Macwood, where you basically hide behind natural cover in a building with your ramp out. And then, when your unsuspecting opponent runs by you, you ramp over them and trap kill them. This is not anything new or game breaking, but I feel like not enough people make smart plays like these. We all tend to forget you don't always have to build fight or bloom battle opponents for a kill. Fortnite is a battle royale where anything works and everything goes, so keep this in mind the next time you have a trap and you're looking to make a sick outplay. The tenth, but not the final trick, hint hint, is a way to protect yourself while swimming in water. Swimming is by far one of the best new ways to rotate, however, you are extremely exposed while you do it. A neat little tip I found out about is to build a wall as you get in the water and then place a floor above you. This allows you to turbo build floors as cover above you the entire time you swim, meaning it's basically impossible to take damage or get shot. And if you're really crazy, you can even tunnel inside the water like in a scrim. Either way, for short swimming rotations with lots of people around you, this should be your new go-to strategy to stay protected and get to zone safely. Now, usually, this is where I send you guys off, but I wanted to do another challenge for all the real homies who stayed and watched the whole thing through. The challenge is to pull off this absolutely ridiculous edit trick in-game, and to get a kill with it. Essentially what's happening is Raider is editing and re-editing the floor so fast that it doesn't break and he can basically float in mid-air. Trust me when I say it's a lot harder than it looks, which is why the first person to do this and get a kill using it in a real game, so not playgrounds or creative or 50 vs 50, a real match will get $100 and a hug from Papa Jarian. Just send me the clip on Twitter or Instagram and boom, free money. 
Overall though, those were 10 advanced building and editing tips and tricks, as well as a little challenge to win some free cash. If you learned something new or you just enjoyed the video, then do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jarian. You guys know I love you all. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.